Hey everybody, John Granado and Lance Zerline from the bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Lance, we're hearing the name Bob Lamont way too often. He's the agent for Jack Easterby, Nick Casario, Tim Kelly. He's the agent for Brian Dayball. He's the agent for all of these guys that seem to be all intertwined with the Houston Texans right now. Is this why maybe... Because Bienemy, Eric Bienemy, and Robert Sala are not Bob Lamont guys, you think that has anything to do with them not being prioritized by the Texans? Well, I mean, I think there's a chance. I think uh, you go with you go with what you know, right? Uh, coaches usually hire other coaches who they're familiar with and who they have a relationship and a background. I don't think it's any different in this particular scenario. Although, just because you have the same representation does not necessarily mean that you have the same uh, – that you even know the guy, that you have a relationship. I doubt that these agents have giant parties where coaches and personnel executives all come hang out at this agent party. I don't think it works that way. So um, I, I think it's possible. I think it's possible there's a level of comfort. More than likely, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know any way else. How do you not get interviews with this many – coaches as possible as far as I know the NFL has not enacted a rule where you can only have a certain amount of coaching interviews so if I were a team I would be like the Texans I would be I don't know 15 coaching interviews maybe there's a number that's too many you don't know how tired they are if they're tired of talking to people they talk to three or four people and then just you got to take a nap I mean, yeah I mean that's true yeah, you I guess. don't know you don't know I've seen this at the college level, though. I've, I've heard of agents, they, they have presidents of universities, then they go out and get their athletic directors, then they go out and get their coaches as well. We've seen this does happen. I think this is a dirty little secret that a lot of people don't know about, that agents do have quite a bit of influence. I haven't seen this at the pro level, though. Have you? Oh, yeah, it happens at the pro level. You just don't hear it talked about. People don't bring it up. They don't do the research on it and things like that. But you remember this, the agent, if, if the agent helps you get a certain job, then you may be more willing to help the agent with something. The agent's getting a percentage of all of those contracts, so mm -hmm. it's in his best interest. Bob Lamont's best interest is to load up the entire building with Texans. And plus, it's the owner that's the easiest to trick into a gigantic contract. So, I mean, you have a history of a team that has no f financial responsibility, fiscal responsibility at all. You have an ownership that's very, very weak. Why not pack the court, so to speak, with your guys? Like, let's get them all in here. Yeah, Give yeah. me those contracts. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And, yeah, and he is swaying. Maybe it's Jack Easterby that he's using as his piece to sway Cal McNair, but it certainly is working. And, yeah, Jack Easterby may be beholden to well, Bob Lamont. Hold on. Are you saying that there's a Bob Lamont pyramid scheme going on right, right yeah, now with the Houston that Texans? It seems like they're very well. And if it's – if it Jack is – Jack Easterby's under him, and his direct line is Nick Casario, and then the coordinators are going to be like the head coaches, Leslie Frazier, and then two Bob Lamont coordinators, and then it's a big Bob Lamont pyramid scheme? Well, and? And what's your point? Do you, you don't think that this – and but with Bob Lamont at the eye at the top – Looking, looking for all any other candidates that could possibly be. Yes, I could certainly see that that is the case. Where's Cal? Cal's behind. Cal's is he the, the bottom of the? Is, is he the bottom having to pay for everything? Cal is buying Cal, his own toilet paper and dish soap. Cal, Cal fell asleep behind the pyramid. He was uh, he's up against the oh. wall sleeping. Hey, uh, what, what you oh. know? It's it, this. It's just a joke. It's terrible. Now. Out of the Lamont. Why do we keep doing these videos? All they do is put us in a bad mood. What? I put this out on the you. Lamont pool of candidates. Hey, now. Lance, can you tell me why this is a terrible move? Yeah, because it's terrible. Because we're in Houston. <laughs> why do we keep doing these stupid fing videos? Whoa. <laughs> can you tell yeah, me? It's a bad place to live right now from a sports standpoint. <laughs> Out of the uh, Bob Lamont we pool to of keep head from coaching crying. candidates, which one do you like to fill in this part of the pyramid? Are you just any the third person you're going to name? Okay, Brian Dayball. Okay, that's fine. You that, he's on well he's in the pyramid. Yeah, he's in the pyramid. Leslie Frazier's in the pyramid. Yeah. He could be he he's a possibility because he's in the Bob Lamont uh, little group. Yeah. Um, 
Doug I Peterson? don't know who else. What about Doug Peterson if he doesn't get the Jets? That's Jets job. I think Doug Peterson's a legitimate it should be a legitimate candidate. Yeah, I mean, that guy's a Super Bowl winner. But I don't like how it went the last two years, though, and I really don't like – you know, when, when my last taste of Doug Peterson is bringing in Nate Sudfeld because he thought he needed some reps in a game that had playoff implications for two other teams, yeah. mm-hmm. and his whole team turned on him, yeah. and it helped get him fired, oh, I wasn't a huge fan of that. No, but he he's a pretty good football coach. Yeah, and, he is. Yeah, yeah, and, and he won a Super Bowl. Something that hasn't – I don't know if you heard, it hasn't happened here yet. Yeah, I've e- heard. Ever. Uh, so – yeah, I, 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 you know what? Dayball is probably going to be the choice, uh, you know. But unless they have to play Kate, uh, unless they have to play Kate Deshaun with an African American, and then Leslie Frazier, come on down, let's go.